A huge round of applause. Let's welcome to the stage, Kevin Johnson! Kevin, this is my friend Matilda. Hello! Wow, they don't talk. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, there you go. They speak Spanish. <laughs> she wants to learn Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es Matilda. And uh, she's been learning her Spanish watching Dora the Explorer. <laughs> You've heard of this show, right? Have you heard of this show? Are you going to teach you English and Spanish? She did not learn the Nandora. At least I hope not. She's a very talented, very beautiful cockatoo. I am. Yes, you are. Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to tell them about yourself? Like what? Tell them anything. I'm like a bird on this fly away. What's so funny? We know you're a bird. Tell them something they don't know. Don't you wish your girlfriend was strong like me? <laughs> no, we don't. We met many years ago. Why don't you tell them where we met? In the tiki 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 Tell she loves to sing, but she did not last very long in the tiki room. She's not animatronic. Okay, I know we have some 80s people on board. I have a couple in their 80s. Excuse me. We have a very diverse crowd here with Royal Caribbean. We have some that are older, some that are younger. But I'd say mostly in the middle, right? Yeah, that's funny because you're mostly in the middle too. It's all class with that. Yeah, that Johnny Cash outfit's not helping you out at all. Can you not touch me? Okay, we're so excited to be back to working and back to work full time. We've got a full ship of people. Isn't this better than sitting at home on the sofa? This is so much better. So much better. How seeing the world again, smelling the fresh salt air. Nasty fish now. Okay. Kids know what I'm talking about. Okay. But I tell you what, we had a little pause a couple years ago. We all know about that one. It's, it's the elephant in the room. But <clears throat> it was very difficult for me because my wife and I, we have five children. <laughs> that was a very long time to be sitting at home. I can tell you with all the kids on this show, it was a long time. We're moving a little bit tonight. This is interesting. <laughs> I'm not a dancer, so if you see these strange moves up here, it's time to dance them as we go. But, uh, you look weird. Thanks for fighting. But we had to be creative with, with, uh, during that time, because uh, with five kids at home, <laughs> it was very crazy. Uh, as a matter of fact, the kids were like, can we just go downtown? Because, well, how many Californians do we have on board? Where are the <laughs> Quite a few people from California. You know this little place called Smackville? <laughs> okay, that's where we live. That's where we live. But we... Uh, <laughs> They had just opened a, an escape room there a couple years ago, and the kids were like, can we go to the escape room? I'm like, I'm living in an escape room. I can't get out of this. <laughs> we had to be creative. We turned a hole downstairs into one big blanket fort. That was awesome. We went camping in the driveway in our SUV. No, that was because we couldn't pay rent. <laughs> okay, disregard the bird. We, uh, we tried Zoom shows. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> Did anybody here watch a Zoom show? By applause. Did you ever see one of those? Okay, that was our success. Eight people showed up. Eight. It was, it was horrible. Well, who's going to watch a show through their phone or even their computers? And everyone's internet speed was different, right? You can tell with the internet on the speed just really fast uh, here on the ship, right? You've had good internet experience? Yeah. That kind of experience. Who's going to watch a show? And then you had buffering, right? You'd be right in the middle of the show and the thing would stop and see if you actually going to do the thing or not. Gonna do it. it was buffering. It was stopping. 
just did. I'm really scared of you if you just did. Which, by the way, you should try that at the wind gym or breakfast tomorrow. This is what I was saying. If I could just get a donut, can you help me out? What am I talking You don't need it. Give me that donut, buddy. Just have some fun. All right, thanks for playing. But we, uh, we should give the kids a big round of applause for having to do school from home for a year. Right? I won't believe it. I tried some online learning. It did not go well. That's because you're old. Really? Right, kids? How do you spell it? O-L-D. That stands for online learning disability. <laughs> Maybe a little trick to that. But anyway, yeah. We were just talking backstage before the show. That might scare some of you. We're not deep enough for you folks yet. We're going to eat you there. I think you need to drink more. It will make sense. She has some great news tonight. I'm single. That's not what we talked about. That's where we're going. No. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. She told me she has a new song she would like to share tonight. After I find a new man. You think you're going to find your new man tonight? I know I see him. You can't see out here. I can smell him. He smells yummy. There he is. Where? Second row, second seat, you're hot. It's Look at you, hottie, big hotter suit. What is your name, sir? Peter. No way. I had a dream about you last night. Stop. It's coming true. Get off the of man. You don't even know if he's single. Are you single, Peter? No, awkward. <laughs> you know how to pick him. Are you dating, engaged, married? He's speechless. <laughs> Does your Facebook status say complicated? <laughs> You're in a relationship, I'm assuming. It is your is your other half here? Right next to you. Awkward! <laughs> and what is your name again? Sonia. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Sonia and Peter, how long have you been together? Oh, they don't talk. I got a chance! <laughs> You, no, okay, okay, no door right here. This is not happening. Okay. So how many years? Years you've been together? Twenty-eight years. What? I don't have a chance. Not even close. <laughs> we should give a big round of applause. That's fantastic. Twenty-eight years. Twenty-eight years. I missed it by my twenty. Twenty-one years. Miss what? The seven-year itch. Okay. <laughs> Peter, I can scratch. Stop. <laughs> I need you to sing your song. You've been on the show. Do you speak Spanish, Peter? Oh, muy caliente. <laughs> it means you're hot. He knows, but okay. Don't worry. Would you please sing your song? I want to see him up close. I am not bringing him up here. Then I'm going down there. <laughs> you know how that'll be your thought. Then let's do this. We don't have time for this. Do you want to see the magic, don't you? <laughs> Troublemakers. You know what? We've got a minute. Let's just bring your time. It's a four-day cruise. What did I care? Are you serious? Touch 
me again. <laughs> you make me feel. Oh, this is overboard. Touch me again. You're going overboard. <laughs> Crowd up late tonight. This is good. Nobody sleeps anymore on these four day cruises. Lots of kids that hate school. This is good. I get a spring break, right? Well, for those, do we have anybody here at this show that was also in the first show? Did anybody actually come back? You really came back? You know, it's the same show. Okay. But, okay, so some of you saw, but some of the rest of you did not. Did my, uh, I, I bring my kids out once at, one at a time uh, because we have so many of them. And uh, in the first show, my 11-year-old son was actually here. He hasn't been his first cruise ever for him. So he was up at the top. But uh, we appreciate it. You'll see us walking around the ship for <laughs> the next couple of days. You'll be like, well, there's a weird guy with a little thing. Anyway, so he, he has nothing to do with my job. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Like, that is weird. So we do have five kids. People often ask me, like, you really have five kids? What, are you religious? I'm a gambler. So what happened? <laughs> let that one go. Let it go. Let it go. My, my oldest is 24, and then we have 20, and then 11, see, 15, 11, and 8 years old. <laughs> and a new baby every cruise contract. So what happened? <laughs> okay, I'm not gone that long, but I had to explain them what I do for a living because they want to know why I'm always gone and why I play with puppets as an adult. <laughs> but my 11 year old who's with me, he was so excited to introduce me to his teacher at school. He said, this is my dad, he plays with dolls. <laughs> Throw me right under the ship there. I said, Exp explain, I'm a ventriloquist. I tried to explain that to a little one. I said, it comes from the two Latin words, ventri and loquist, which means multiple personality disorder. <laughs> but if you Google it, which, <laughs> have good luck with that this week. But uh, when you Google it, it literally translates to speak uh, from the stomach, hungry, hungry, hungry. It's in there, really weird. <laughs> Uh, I told my son, I said, let's just put it simple for you. It's the ability to talk without moving your mouth. He said, well, mom does that. <laughs> I said, really? He goes, yeah. She says, get in the car, now. <laughs> Where are my control of his parents here tonight? <laughs> okay, a lot of people in denial. <laughs> Thanks for playing, all right. But if, you know, it helps if we all have a good imagination because we all hear voices. <laughs> just no matter what you do with them. <laughs> I put mine in my friends. <laughs> we call them friends now. We used to call them dummies, you remember that? Some dummy got offended. You know, guy. Should have seen it. Okay, move along quickly, move along. Look, I'm getting canceled at midnight anyway, who cares? But what do they love me at the airports here in California with these cases? I showed up to fly to Florida and the lady had a laundry list of questions for me. She said, give me cigarettes, lithium batteries, what do you have? I said, I have dummies in the box. She said, there's what? I said, I have dummies in the case. She said, they're not dummies. They're mannequin Americans. <laughs> Welcome to California. Anyway, <clears throat> but I tell you, do we have any frequent flyers here still like to fly? Okay, did most of you drive to the ship? Okay. Do we have any folks here not from California? Anybody not from California? <laughs> so you drove. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But they used to lose your luggage quite a bit when they when they fly, but it's gotten a little bit better now. But I'll never forget, just before the pandemic, they flying me to Costa Rica to be with the ship and my friends didn't show up. <laughs> a little bitter about that one. I'm not allowed to tell you what the airlines was, but it rhymes with Delta. <laughs> Which I heard stands for don't expect luggage to arrive. <laughs> a little bitter. <laughs> Since then, they're not my favorite airlines, but back then, not so much. 
So I asked the guy, I'm like, where are my cases? He goes, un momento, senor. <laughs> oh, in the U.S., no problem. Be here tomorrow, we'll send it to your hotel. <laughs> I said, it is a problem. My hotel floats. You're going to be in a canoe chasing us? What is it? <laughs> so he says, okay, un momento, senor. Uh, four days to the next port. We'll get it to you. It's four days, no problem. So I get on the ship. The cruise director says, your show's tomorrow. <laughs> Panic sets in. I mean, I'm there with my cabin steward. Don't you love your cabin stewards, though? Absolutely. Love them. Love them. He made all the towel animals on the bed for me to audition for the show. <laughs> it was like a zoo of towels. But uh, he said, just go to the bar. That's where the creative thinkers are. And apparently, they're all in the bar tonight. So I went to the bar. I had to get a glass of bourbon. He said, tell me, it's the alcohol talking. <laughs> I said, that's three minutes, buddy. Anything else? What are you? Lady at the end of the bar, she said, I bet there's an app for that. There's an app for everything, isn't there? Good old Steve Jobs. Well, hopefully he was uploaded, not downloaded. That'd be great. <laughs> Too soon? Moving on? Moving on? Quickly. So we, we actually drew a face on a napkin, brought it to life. It worked so well, we're going to duplicate it tonight. Will you help me make a puppet? Yeah. Oh, this this, this be fun for five of us. All right, I need some help, though. We need some of the young people, maybe. I need some of the kids. Can we get two of the kids? I need that uh, maybe uh, between six and twelve would be the perfect age. Okay. Six, maybe six and twelve or two. Six and twelve. We've got uh, this, this young lady right in the middle of two top blue. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, come up and help us out with the glasses. That'd be fantastic. I need a guy. Let's get the right guy. We need the right guy to get this to work. We've got this. We've got this one. We've got... Oh, I think we have two people coming and we are, we're going to stop there, all right? We can, a, a sneak, a sneak attack. Well, let's give a big round of applause. Three okay. okay. We've got two helpers. This is going to be fun. Let's step up here. There you go. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Your name is? Annabelle. Annabelle. How old are you, Annabelle? I'm 12. 12. Almost a teenager. You ready for that? I don't know. <laughs> is your family ready for that? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. No, they're shaking their head. No, not ready. Okay. And uh, where are you from? Utah. Okay. Well, you brought the whole family. <laughs> Some are just with the two of us, then that's all right. Annabelle, you have the family here with you? Um, my mom over there. All right. Okay. What do you do for a living? Draw. Oh, okay. that's perfect. That's going to help me out quite a bit. We'll get right to that, Annabelle. Let's move over here. And how are you tonight? And what is your name? Sabrina. Sabrina. How old are you, Sabrina? Uh, 11. 11 years old. Okay. And uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm uh, from California. California. Okay. Any part in particular It's fairly large? Yeah. North, uh, south, middle? Are you going to win this protection program? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. It's all right. My family moved around a lot when I was growing up, but I found them every time. <laughs> Okay, let's move along. Uh, what do you do for a living? Draw. You like to draw as well? This is going to be really fun. Let's get to the point where we're drawing then. Because this is, uh, you're going to see why you're here. I am not that good of an artist. Would you mind stepping over here in front of the cases? That'd be great. Or this one over here, that'd be perfect. That way everyone can see what's going on. And broadcast is helping us out by putting it up on the big screen as well. Let's see if we can get something done here. All right, I'm going to try to get us started with uh, doing the easy part. Putting the eyes and the mouth together. This is really boring. Do we want a happy or a sad face? Happy or sad? Happy, good, we're having a good cruise so far. All right, let's make the eyes just a little bit bigger for those folks up in the back there. And we're gonna give you some parameters and the rest are up to you. All right, we'll start with you then, you're closest to it. If you wouldn't mind, let's draw a nose. It could be a big nose, a little nose, pointy nose. Who knows? <laughs> Is that it? Just a little blowhole. Okay, that's next. <laughs> Swimming with the fishes. I love it. Let's pass the marker then. Let's go ahead and pass the marker. Let's do, uh, let's draw some ears then. It can be big, little, pointy, or a dot. <laughs> and they're itty bitty tiny little ears. Okay, this is, this is fun. This is good. Okay. We have to one up, one down. That's okay. That's what, this is fun. That's why we use the graph paper. But it's fun that way. That's why it's fun. This is good. It's your drawing. Let's just have fun. Let's do some eyebrows. Could we just like, it's gonna be like, up is he surprised, down is he angry, one up, one down. <laughs> just to match the ears, it'd be fun. Okay, now, man, look at that, status quo. A little bit surprised. <laughs> He's got that surprise look, doesn't he? Oh. You, do you want the eraser? Are we good? That's good. Yeah, you're right. You don't have to add all the hairs. <laughs> good, perfect. He tweezes. Now, let's do, uh, let's do some hair. 
Is it like long hair, short hair, spiky hair, no hair, afro, mohawk, or any sort of uh, anything come to mind? Any sort of hair? It could be one hair or no hair. It could be bald, anything. Just that. It's a 45 minute show. So whenever you're ready, that's, uh, <laughs> that's it. She's going to be done in just a minute if you don't mind. It's just, uh, but if you, if you don't use it, soda would be fine. Cool. Cool. By the way, with all the people on the ship, that was strange since they'd be one of the last ones on the elevator and everybody just standing. Do you stare at the glass or do you stare at the people? What do you... The people. Look at the people and just say, I'd like to talk to you about Amway real quick. It takes two minutes. They'll clear out and give you the elevator. Okay. Look at all of the hips. We went crazy. Yeah, this is serious drawing now. Okay, very nice. They got the hair. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. okay. Now let's do a neck and shoulders so we don't have a floating head. That way when he eats and drinks, there's somewhere for the food and beverage to go. There's plenty of room. Let's just have some fun. Oh, this is what... They are not kidding about this drawing thing. They are serious. This will be on the, uh, this will be in the art auction at midnight. Stick around. <laughs> this is great. Quite nice. Oh, I don't want to erase it then. This is really nice. He's got a little off to the side. A really different perspective. Okay, let's pass the market in. And let's give him a funny name. You can just write next to his little body there. and say. Looks like this guy looks great. I mean, a little shading. And they're like, what? what? Just chilling. Four day cruise. Where'd he go? What? Can you, can, you, uh, can you pronounce it for us? Juan del Dingle. Maybe it's a generational thing. I don't have any idea what's happening, but uh, I may have just swore in a different language. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is my last contract. We'll understand what happens. Okay, Juan del Dingle. Thanks for joining. Uh, let's grab this and take a big bow for your beautiful artwork. Nice to meet you. And you can register your family as well. Just be careful going down the stairs. We don't want to jump off the stairs. Beautiful work on Quendel Dingle. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. You got your way down? Oh, very nice. One more big round of applause for the ladies. Thank you very much. You love when the young people do the draw because you never know what you're going to get. It truly is like a box of chocolates, isn't it? <laughs> When we get to the port, sometimes you'll see them put like hats on them, like riding in the car with the ships in the background. You don't, you don't like it. What's my, you don't like it? What? My, of course my eyes are moving, I can see everybody. Sometimes there's people on this side, sometimes on this side. But what happened? What? He's moving. Sometimes when you exceed for a couple days and message with your equilibrium, it has something. Still moving? Yeah. Don't look away. I've got all night. Where am I gonna go? Stay out of Dad's liquor locker. He doesn't move. It. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Oh! You're serious? It's almost like he's alive. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Did not just happen. Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Look at the Kardashians. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. That's my job. <laughs> well, you don't look so good. You don't draw so good. <laughs> I brought you into this world and I could take you right out. You sound like my mother. <laughs> my mom, too. How do you feel now? I ain't got no body. That's not funny. They're laughing. Okay, let's get rid of his ear. No, he doesn't hear so well. What? Exactly. Can you hear me now? What? Can you hear me now? It's still not funny. They're still chuckling. Okay, do me a favor. What's that? Hold your breath. Get off my head. Can you hold your breath? How long? Doesn't matter, just hold your breath. All right. Look at that. Not so funny now, are you? You see, that's the last breath he'll ever draw. Summer just for me. It's okay. Let's get rid of that nose now. It looks just like Michael Jackson's did. Still too soon for that one, apparently. Let's get rid of the other ear. And how about those creepy eyes? I don't like the way he's looking at it. Or we can get rid of him all together. Let's say goodbye, Quinto Dingo. Let's give them another big round of applause for a beautiful artwork. Thanks for coming. <laughs> what do you call that? Sketch comedy? I'm not sure. It gets worse. Much worse.
I feel like we know each other a little bit better now. Let me ask you a question. If you could do ventriloquism, would you mess with people? Yes. Third of you? Yes, you would. Yep. What a unique ability. Throw your voice into strange places. You mess with people. I'd like to find out where you might do it. Don't put your hands up. I can't see you anyway. Just shout it out. Where would you throw your voice? Bathroom. Funeral. Sick, but very funny. Funeral. Right out of the gate. Just, just say it at a funeral. I'm not dead. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> in a theater when somebody else is performing. Hopefully not me. Thanks for playing. Okay. <laughs> yes, at a wedding. That will ruin someone's day. Beautiful work. Anyone object? I do. Peter. <laughs> you missed it. 28 years. Sorry about that. Okay. Any other places you throw your voice? Walmart. They deserve it. Absolutely. Church. You're going to get kicked out. That would be me. Airport. Let, let me come back around to that. School. Okay, kids, don't do it at school. You can call yourself out of class. That's not fair. <laughs> Hospital's a great place. Absolutely. Go out to a nice restaurant, order up a big lobster. When they come around and say, how is your food? Say, I'm not going to eat it. They'll say, what's wrong? With the linen show. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you see that? My name is Amigo Montalia. It's <laughs> not funny. You killed my father. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't me. Prepare to die. I'm not dying over your lobster. I'm not even dead. Look at the gun. I'm alive. What do we do? Let me go. Set him free. It's a little expensive, but it's a lot of fun. Or uh, go out to a grocery store, grab a tub of butter. Say, ooh, butter. Okay. Some of you are not old enough for that collection. Okay, uh, let's get back to the airport, because that's my favorite place, because they really deserve it. No? I'm on the list. It's not that bad. I was in a hurry one day, put everything on the container belt, stepped in the photo booth, and nobody looks good like this. Well, stepping out, a six foot two guy with TSA says, put your foot in the footprints and spread them. I'm thinking, yeah, let's have some fun. So he's patting me down. I wait till he gets right to the rear end and went, This big boy jumped. <laughs> he was like, okay, what was that? I said, well, I went through the scanner. <laughs> so he's patting me down this side, gets right to the rear end. Hi, He said, let's go in the room, funny guy. Let's find that squeaky toy. <laughs> oh, oh, we are friends now. Like my grandfather told us growing up, he said, if you can't laugh at yourself, make fun of everybody else. <laughs> but he also said, life is too short not to have a good time. Wouldn't you agree a little bit? Yeah. Yes, you're on a cruise. Absolutely. Speaking of grandparents, do we have any here tonight? Yeah. At the late show? <laughs> I am impressed. <laughs> Nobody sleeps truly in the four day. This next character is inspired by my grandfather. I think you'll enjoy him. He is sleeping. <laughs> I'm going to give him a moment. While he's waking up, let me give you one other place not to do ventriloquism, and that would be customs when we get back to Los Angeles. They're not like TSA, they're for real. They will ruin your day. It happened to me going through Miami Port. The guy's like, what's in the trunk? Nothing. <laughs> Bringing my friends back from Costa Rica. <laughs> Zero sense of humor, these guys. He pulls me aside and says, now open it. No, I'm naked. <laughs> Do you know what inappropriate means? I want to talk to him. That's not happening. On her behalf, let me say sorry. Do not put words in my mouth. You want to go there? I need your help. Of course you need my help. No, I need your help. With what? I'm thirsty. Right now? I am thirsty. Excuse me for just a second. Right in the middle of the show. I can't believe I've got no time now. Are you good? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm just thinking about that a lot of I'm not sure I understand that thing, but that's dumb. This next character I want to introduce you to is inspired by my grandfather. It was the reason I'm on stage tonight. He was a magician for many, many years. Got me started in the business. I was nine years old when I started hearing the voices. <laughs> my mother was like, puppetry or therapy. We went the cheaper route. 
But my grandfather saw potential. He said, if you get good enough for your craft, you can open for my magic show. So I took him serious. I worked hard for four years. I was 13 when I did my first five minutes on stage, opening for his show at an Elks Lodge in Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to wake him up. You're going to like him. Harley, wake up. Stop it. There's people out there. Don't shake me. All right? Stop it. Walk up. This is Harley, not Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Is this bingo? <laughs> it's showtime. Because he learns the dancers. <laughs> there are no dancers in this show. I hope you're not one of them. <laughs> you look special in spandex. You look like a boa constrictor slow in a cello. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little exhausted. I'm retired. <laughs> you don't do anything. And I'm good at it. <laughs> It's exhausting because we are back to work full time. As a matter of fact, last week we were in the Virgin Islands. There aren't any left, I checked. <laughs> no. We need no. We have children out here. We'll send them out. <laughs> he loves children. Can't stand them. <laughs> are there any kids in the balcony? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Tell it, Lord, what's going on out there. Seth, are you in the balcony or not in the balcony? Do you know what a balcony is? <laughs> talking to the child, that knows me. <laughs> Seth, talk to him, so I'm talking to him. Are there any kids up there in the balcony? There they are. Jump! Stop! No! <laughs> <laughs> you can jump. I'd like to see them. Stop it. What is your issue with children? They're too simple nowadays. I blame that on children's television. Like that waste of time, Dora the Explorer. I love that show. <laughs> what was that? Matilda. Kill it. <laughs> it's a good show. They teach you English. In Spanish. And they have a real complicated song on there. It goes like this. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. On the map. <laughs> That's it. It's the whole thing right there. They should have thought of that song. I'd love to hear that you. When I was a kid, they had simple songs. Like the one that goes super califragilistic, extiolidosis. You may think that I smell bad, but it's my halitosis. <laughs> I made that up. Really? I'm not simple. Simple you are not. But at least you dressed up for us tonight. You like this? My throwback Thursday jersey. Throwback Thursday? It's not Thursday. How do you know? Did you check the elevator? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I didn't. So what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. This has got to go back on fire anyway. You don't buy clothes, wear them, and take them back. Sure you do. Ask the women. <laughs> they said they know what I'm talking about. Half the stuff you see here on the cruise is going back, and you get home, did you? Rock comes on, they call that the Walmart way. The Walmart way. I used to work there. Of course you did. Back on the half readers. And how'd that work out for you? I got fired. You got fired as a greeter? What was your attitude? No, it was a gas issue. <laughs> Laugh it up, buddy. You'll be there someday. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. You were standing by the front door. Well, they caught me in the toy aisle, crop dusting the kids. <laughs> Come on, you know what you're doing. That's why they call us old farts. <laughs> You've been fired from almost every job you've had. Except one. Which was? The Sunsweet Prune Juice Company. You worked for the Sunsweet Prune Juice Company? I had to quit that job. The hours are too irregular. <laughs> it's not a joke, I was a taste tester. <laughs> one day on and three days off. <laughs> Don't need a visual. He didn't have a very good upbringing either. Well, my dad and I, we did not get along. I was eight years old, walked to my daddy's room and said, Dad, I've had it. And he running away. 
What do you say? Put it in writing. <laughs> <laughs> then I got a stepdad and I called him faux pas. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> His dad was a bit of a storyteller. My dad was angry at what he was. We grew up in a small town, I mean itty bitty small town. Like Catalina small town. <laughs> so this, he said, let's go to the city. I'm like, what is this? And he's huge building. I'm like, let's clean one. And we did. In the lobby of this little building, I saw this strange looking closet. And sliding doors, lights all around it. Sounded like an elevator. We didn't know that. <laughs> Grew up in a small town. Saw this elderly woman in a wheelchair. She rolled up there, she pushed the button, went inside, and disappeared. <laughs> we waited 10 minutes, the doors opened up, and a 24 year old woman come walking out of there. She was hotter than donut grease, I'll tell you. <laughs> I looked at my dad, I said, look at that. He said, yep, go get your mom. <laughs> well, like I said, we were so glad to be back and work full time. And what did you miss most about cruising? <laughs> Listen, the kids go, <laughs> Look, you know what, let's move along. You know what I miss most about cruising? Eating. Look at that. <laughs> you get enough yet? <laughs> <laughs> the food has been fantastic, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. yeah. I will agree with that. And I didn't have to make it. And you're good. I had lunch three times today. <laughs> you can't eat like that. You need to get some exercise. They even have a gym. If you go, <laughs> you haven't found it yet? <laughs> Just saying, maybe use the stairs instead of the elevator. That might explain why I'm backed up. We don't want to know that. You should know that. We've lived together. Are you taking anything for it? Some good reading material. <laughs> and then that tiny bathroom like an hour in the morning or an hour at night. You're sitting there. <laughs> Counting the tile. Stop. Rocking back and forth. <laughs> Trying to dislodge something. You <laughs> still <laughs> keep hitting my head on the sink in that tiny bathroom. <laughs> how my hair got like this. Would you say that? <laughs> you know what? If I could trigger that vacuum toilet while I'm sitting on it, that'd take care of it right now. <laughs> you know you want to try it. <laughs> They'd have your phone handy called 911. I flushed and I can't get up. <laughs> get a giant hickey on your rear end. Stop. Stop. <laughs> What's the matter? Where is your other hand? <laughs> Are you my doctor? <laughs> Get your hand out of there, Dada. Da. Washy, washy. <laughs> Are you finished? <coughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Listen, the kids aren't getting this anyway. <laughs> He's turning 86 next month. How about that? I made it. You made it? I finally figured out what I want to be. What do you want to be? 21. <laughs> You've been around the block a few times. Give us some words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. All right, we have some little ones out here. Listen up. Honor your mother and father. Otherwise, your mom's going to lose it. <laughs> but your dad's going to find it. You're going to get it. <laughs> then they grow up when they get married and got this to say about that. Do not get married for money. It is cheaper to take out a loan. <laughs> Give us some real words of wisdom. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Live every day like it's your last. And one day you'll be right. <laughs> this, this you have a great cruise now. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> <Lynn Jim. laughs> Something. We, we want to, I want to, I want to end our time this evening with my two friends. Now I introduce Matilda first because she is the nicer of the two birds. And the harder one, Frank Eater. You can stop. Is he still out there? He's still there. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? You need to let it go. 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 Let it go.
<laughs> if you've never met Clyde before, let me warn you, he's very obnoxious. And he stinks. <laughs> Don't do that. That might have been me. <laughs> Go to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> Clyde joined me in 1983 when I first started opening for my grandfather's magic show. Let me introduce you to both, Clyde and Matilda. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Clyde is a very talented buzzer. Let's not call me a buzzer, right? Okay? Why not? I don't identify as a buzzer anymore. I am Zora. What? I am Zora. Okay. What just happened? Z for Zora. Yeah, we got it. Unless you're Canadian, Z or Zero. Oh, I don't get that one. In Canada, they don't say Z, they say Z. Oh, so the end of the was Z and their sentences with A? <laughs> what? Can you just give her twenty dollars? <laughs> For what? To buy a clue. Come on, man. <laughs> Says the guy who thinks he's Zora. I am Zora. Go see my movie. You know the Zora movie. If you were in that movie, I oh, was in Titanic. What? You were in Titanic. No. Oh yeah. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, come back. Uh, are you serious right now? Jack. I'll never let go. It looks like you did. There he goes. I'll look right next to your career. Now you're being rude. No, it's still Zoro. Why does he do that? It's his costume. He doesn't need a costume. He looks like a candy corn. <laughs> Awkward. Don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. I'll watch you now. I'll start calling you Titanic because you're going down. Do me a small favor and don't do Titanic jokes on a cruise ship. Look, what if I'm Mexico? What am I going to say? Ice cube, right ahead. <laughs> don't step on it. Back in the blaster. Back in the blaster. Clyde's gonna sing for us tonight. No, no, that's not gonna happen. It's part of the show. Or get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of it. I wanna sing my song to Peter. <laughs> what, what is going on down here? We're dating now. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Stay off my Kool-Aid, how about you? Stay off your Kool-Aid? Look, he's nervous now. Look at this, look at that, look at this, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a hot room, it's over. Look, man, you get in the trunk of the girls, I've got a leak and see what happens. I don't get it. Let it go. You don't know the first thing about romance. I wrote a book on it. Really? What's it called? Dating for dummies? <laughs> see what I did there? What up? Yeah, I didn't like it. What up? Why won't you sing? He just knows that anything he can do, I can do better. Oh, I doubt that. This is not a challenge. Then let me sing. Fine, sing something classical, something we all would know. All right, something from the sound of music. Excuse me. What? I thought she said sound of mucus. I know that one. <laughs> That's disgusting. Sing your song. I am a huge lonely bird. Yodale, yodale, yodale. How was y'all doing? That sounded like roadkill. <laughs> ow, 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 screech, ow. <laughs> roadkill? Now that's some good eating in Utah, am I right? <laughs> that's disgusting. It's no gassy, too. I call that the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could do better? You try to yodel. Ooh, challenge accepted. A duel to the death. Shh, you can't yodel. I did love you, you
becoming a ventriloquist. Don't do it. Unless you have a good psychiatrist. Okay, they say there's a fine line between ventriloquism and schizophrenia. Uh, I think you crossed that line. Well, you have to keep the personality separate. And the line separate. And the voices separate. Because if I mix up the voices... I would sound like her. And I would sound like him. And I would sound like you. And that would not look like it. I don't like it. I'm like a voice guy. That's why I drink. It's a little scary. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, you have been so much fun tonight. I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, we're going to wrap up with our signature bit. Do you remember the old Godzilla movies? Where the words never match their mouth? <laughs> we want to show you what that would look like to see it live. We call it Godzilla Theater. Check it out. <laughs> Did you hear it? There's a dinosaur race. Why are you getting it? Are you scared? Come on, talk to me. I'm not scared. I am Zoro. It's not Zoro. It's Zero. <laughs> Look, it's Godzilla. We have to get out of here right now. That's not Godzilla. That's the Geico Gecko. I'm not kidding. We're gonna go. We're gonna die. <laughs> No. <laughs> You've been so much fun tonight. Please, 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 please. That's the end of our show. I want to dance. Peter. Uh, Peter, look at me. Run! Run for your life! We don't dance. We can do the chicken dance. Nah, 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 nah. Stop. Can I get some dancing music? No, we don't have to do dancing music. What are you doing? I want to dance. Dance with me. Can you turn it off, please? Rank it up. Yeah! Do it, do it! Now you're just out of control. Please do me a favor and give a big round of applause to all of the technicians over here on the right and the sound of the spotlight broadcast backstage of the National Radio Show. Can you just turn the whole thing off? I'm not going to do it. You're going to keep rocking? Don't be a big one. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go!